Hello everyone. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Um, today we'll we'll learn about CSS frameworks. We have already so many uh, popular uh, CSS frameworks uh, like uh, Bootstrap, Material Design, Foundation, etc. Apart from that, we also have some similar frameworks which is which we can use for free. Let's check. Uh, those free frameworks uh, today in in today's section. Uh, first one is UI Kit. I'll provide these URLs in uh, in the video description. Uh, let's just check it out. Okay. Uh, the first one is UI Kit. In this UI Kit, you know it is it is uh, very similar to Bootstrap only. You just need to add this CDN paths you paths to your HTML document then you can play with play around with these components see for example I wanted to create a uh, drop down in my web page just click on the drop down there you can see the preview how our drop down will look like okay if you wanted to add your drop down into your uh, web page just click on markup copy this HTML into your page that's it very very easy to use and very you know um, minimal code uh, and you can easy, use it for free okay and similarly we have another framework called ink ink UI elements you can download this from here and then go to UI elements or JavaScript UA components. JavaScript UA components is nothing but like our uh, model boxes and uh, uh, accordions, you know, tabs. The, that kind of stuff will go under, uh, will go under JavaScript UA components. Or normal buttons, um, uh, breadcrumbs, uh, some pagination. That kind of uh, uh, you know basic HTML elements will come into UA elements. Okay. Now uh, I am in UA elements. See, you just need to add these two links, to two CDN links into your web page. Then you can play around with it, these components. For example, I wanted to use. Okay, let's go to. Uh, these are basic, uh, you know, uh, components only. I just I'm showing the list. We already we we can create a basic HTML with this. I'm I'm going to JavaScript UI components. See, um, for example, I wanted to create a model. Just click on that model it will scroll to uh, the model uh, session see this is our model look like this is without the title and close buttons okay and another we have another model another model with uh, you know uh, title and close button see with, there we have a title and close button for model pop-up we have you know it's very similar to our bootstrap and uh, you know material design only you have a uh, lots of uh, um, uh, options available in this framework also and the third one is semantic ui these also you know have a lot of uh, features uh, we can use it for free just click on get started in this uh, semantic UA, go to installation. These uh, semantic UA, you know, providing lot of many ways to you know include um, their framework in a different ways. Like you can use it for a Node.js, Gulp. Um, you can directly install installing semantic UA, include in your HTML uh, pages also. And I'm not now. I'm using including your uh, into your HTML pages. Just go to add, go and add it, add your uh, links to your HTML page. Now, before adding these links, you need to download the uh, you need to download the uh, files. You need to download the files. Go to UI Docs. Uh, get started. From here, you can download your copy of Semantic UI framework. 
after downloading these uh, you know files uh, then you can add the CDN links into your HTML okay after adding this CDN you know, after adding this file uh, these links in your HTML document again same process you can add a number um, you can use almost all the components accordions you know search boxes see here is the preview accordions if you wanted to uh, add this component in your web page you just click on here view source button there you will get a all code for your component you just need to add, copy this code and add to your HTML document okay so these are other three more uh, you know uh, most useful frameworks for CSS I hope uh, you will get some information from this video if you like this video please comment share subscribe thank you